Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about making sense of jazz tunes. Uh, so when I first started learning how to play jazz, I was self-taught, like a lot of you out there might be. And in my early 20s, I thought that bebop had all of the vocabulary in the jazz language. So what I used to do is take jazz tunes, especially bebop tunes, and slow them down and play them freely to try to make sense of the melodies and really extract every ounce of emotion I could out of them. And for me, what this did was create a sense of understanding how to play the jazz language as well as how to speak it better. So of course, this is directly related to one of my main goals as a jazz musician. It's a lifelong goal. And that's basically to be able to play and it instantly being recognizable as jazz. Like basically, there's no question about when I play, that is the sound of jazz. Like I play a note and someone says, that's jazz. That's one of the things I've wanted since I first started playing jazz. I mean, that's what originally drew me to it, and that's why I'm so hardcore about it. Okay, so to demonstrate this, I'm going to be taking a Charlie Parker tune, perhaps, and I'll be playing it one time through freely to give you an idea of what I used to do. And then I'll play it in time to kind of see how that plays out. And here's what that sounds like. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Hopefully you can apply something similar to your own playing to really dig down deeper and inform your own journey on understanding jazz and being a jazz musician. So that's it for this week. If you found this video interesting or useful, please like it and share it. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any questions, feedback, requests, etc., please leave them down below in the comments section. Otherwise, we'll see you all next week. Happy practicing.